Hello everyone. I am so glad you have joined me today. I love sharing my ideas with you and I hope I inspire you with today's creation. I have to tell you, I am just getting started to design for my, um, my next class that's going to be in November and it is gorgeous. You're going to love the cards. It's so cute. But here's the card we're going to make today. And for this card, I used the Butterfly Gala for You've Been On My Mind. And I used Very Versailles for that leaf piece there. All right, so let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in my measurements. And I created my flowers first. So I'm using that small blossom punch. And then I used a scrap of pumpkin pie and punched out one. I used a scrap of bumblebee. I've been in a fall mood lately, punched out one. And I used a piece of rich raspberry and punched out one. All right, the next thing I need to do is I need to add my string. So I'm flipping these over to the back and I'm gonna add a glue dot in the center of all of these. Oops, it didn't come off. All right, I push it down. There we go. And then this one goes on here, like so. And then I have one more. So now I have my flowers ready to go. And I'm gonna use some um, linen thread. I'm gonna use this scrap. And to know how long I needed to make the pieces, I took my linen thread and I stuck it in the middle. And then I kind of set it on my cardstock and I cut a piece. And I cut it a little longer than I needed it but I wanted to make sure I had enough. And then I did the next one. And again, cutting it longer than I need. And then finally the last one. All right. And then this is a scrap I will throw away. Now I'm gonna take my, leave these down like so. I'm gonna take my tear and tape and I'm gonna put a strip across the top of my card stock. And this very vanilla is, oops, I didn't, I did, it's down at the bottom. It's three and three fourths by five. I didn't think I'd put it on there, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sandwich that, um, those threads in between this so that I know they're not gonna give way on me. Um, the linen thread is so fine, it doesn't like to grab anything. So I'm going to take my cardstock, flip it back over. I'm going to determine where I want, oops, don't want to put that down, where I want my flower. And I'm going to stick it down so that that <clears throat> the linen thread is up above it. I probably could have done all of this part and then put the piece on the back. So you might want to do that. All right, I'm going to move this one down here. And I'm keeping it straight as I possibly can and sticking it down. And then finally, the last one. And I want it right about there. I am changing the height of my flowers All right now. Oops, this one didn't stick. And my thread is crooked here, so I'm gonna remove it. I want it straight up and down. And then this one. And then my next step is to take and put another piece of tear and tape over top of this. And I'm not worried about doing the whole strip um, but I want to make sure that I catch those pieces 
all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add this piece to my piece of rich razzleberry that is, and you need a scrap for this, I totally missed that, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. I'm gonna take my back off of this now that I've got it sandwiched in there good. I wanna make sure that I keep those that linen thread in place because it will release. Oops, my, I probably should put another glue dot on the back. So let me, let me get one because they're not sticking because of the linen thread. So I'm just gonna put one right over top of it. And now I know it'll stick and stay in place. The rest of those seem to be doing okay. All right, so I've got that done. Then it needed something. So I'm going to take my Very Versailles. I'm going to cut this because I don't have actually, do I have them? Yeah. I used post-it notes and put the post-it notes down. Oops, I need to do it on this one. This is the one I'm going to stamp on. Um, you could take and stamp the bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can take and stamp the bottom first. If you want, I don't know why I had that one. Don't need it. All right. So I'm going to take my very Versailles um, spray. I'm going to ink it up real good. Make sure you do it so that you can see that it's inked. Um, some of them won't look like they're inked, but that's the nature of the stamp. All right. And then what I did was I just kind of went at an angle and stamped it down like so. I can remove this now and put it away for use later. And this piece is gonna go on my very vanilla that is five and one eight, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. Oh, before I put it down, I wanna stamp my sentiment. I saw my um, ink over there, so I'm using the You've Been On My Mind. Um, so I'm going to stamp that in the center like so. Right, now I can add it to my card base, and I'm going to flip this over because it's off just slightly. All right, so I'm going to add this, get rid of that. I'm going to add this to my card base. Like so. All right. And then to give it some bling, I pulled in the champagne rhinestones. And I'm going to use the little ones. And I'm going to Add a little tiny rhinestone in the center of each of the flowers, like so. And to make this extra super sweet, I'm going to use my linen thread again, and I'm going to tie tiny bows. Um, I just give myself plenty of a tail and then I tie my bow and then I shorten the the loops that one's a little too long like so and when I get it to a good point that one needs to be a little longer there we go I just cut it and I don't leave much of a tail because they're going to be on the top. So let me tie all three of my bows. 
Um, oops, missed it, pulled it too far. Make sure you give yourself plenty of room coming out of your holder. I think that's what I did wrong. I didn't have enough room. Yeah. Okay. Now I can make my tiny loops. I mean, I can get a really tiny bow if I want it. I got glue on my finger. I was wondering what that was. All right, and I tighten it up. All right, and I'm gonna cut my ends. And I'm gonna show you how to put these on with glue dots. Um, you can use um, the Tombow glue. The problem is it um, takes a while to dry and if you don't get it just you know right you'd have to hold it in place somehow. All right, A little too big. Just a little bit smaller. There we go. All right so I've got my bows tied. And we're all set to put them on. Now, I'm going to use a glue dot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the tails down like so. And I'm going to stick it on the glue dot. So my tails are going down. All right. Pull that up a little. I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to pinch that glue dot so that it... isn't visible and stick it down. All right, so now I'm going to do the next one. Pull your tails down, stick it on your glue dot, all right, pinch the glue dot to take it off and stick it down. And if you've got it that's showing like that has a lot showing, just take your pokey tool and use it and push that glue dot so you can't see it. All right, last one. But by putting it on the glue dot with your tails down, that keeps your tails looking nicely. All right, time to pinch this one. I think the hardest part I have is the glue dot sticking to my fingers. I'll worry about getting that straight in a minute. All right, I'm gonna take my pokey tool. This one didn't cooperate as nicely as the others, so I'm just gonna push it out of the way. And there you have it. And then you want to decorate the inside and your envelope. And what I did was I took and punched my um, flower out of a piece that was fairly large and I used it as a mask and with my ink and my sponge dauber I sponged it in. Now you have to, mine is, uh, there it goes, it's a little bit better, yeah. So there is some difference in the petals but that's how I did the inside in the envelope. I would love for you to help me out on YouTube. Make sure you click the subscribe button below so, do you, so you don't miss my videos. If you want to be notified when I upload a video, click the bell next to it. Thanks for visiting me today. Have a great day.